Welcome brethren and those of the occult community, this video is a must and has to be talked about due to what's being accepted as uh, normal. So we'll start with ego and its effects from my own works and observances. <laughs> Naturally, ego is a blessing and a curse to mortals if completely tainted. It has them, you know, wanting to commit suicide being depressed, it also affects that person's very idea of faith and self. Its primary use is confidence, self-preservation, and free will. It also plays a very vital role in you being content in your life and what you're practicing, which most are lacking. Ego itself corrupts spirit communication like no other. I hear people all the time trying to hype themselves up by saying, Israel or the Void told me this or, or that. It's someone seeking social validation or to make themselves appear as a special snowflake rather than the removal of self to actually hear and train it. I mean, I actually saw a video of a YouTuber state that a spirit shared with him his quote on, quote, super secret important work and included him in it, which defeats it, you know, which defeats itself. If a spirit's going to include you on something like that, you wouldn't be talking about it. You know, another where a megachurch pastor magician claimed that Azazel made him the ultimate weapon, you know, to posture and to lie to a bunch of people. You know, it's one thing to bring forth a current's purpose, how it came about, you know, like we do. But it's another thing entirely to state that you as an individual, arrogant enough to believe you're a special snowflake to that said entity, and you're not related to it in any way. I wanted to clear this up also. If you hear us speak about social validation and Facebook as it corrupts the ego, let me explain this. You hear us say you need to unplug, it's not an insult. Make no mistake, it's going to socially engineer your mind and dull it for instant gratification, where you have to check it like 50 times a day. You become extremely impatient to most things, and it shortens your attention span to that of a fucking goldfish, which imposes serious blocks to meditation and astral projection. I see sorcerers on Facebook that literally fucking live on there and won't see their work ever manifest because the reality of this is they've trapped themselves in this never-ending matrix of social validation. Ego has to tell them constantly, look at me, look at what I'm doing, look at what I know. You know, so many spiritualists can't do a ritual without a fucking camera and posturing when the ritual itself has been tainted by embellishments because of what's expected on camera and what is to be seen as good enough. So, ego taints spiritual maturity, and in doing so, it decimates spiritual alchemy, ruining the resonance of your path and what you're drawing from. When spiritual alchemy is tainted, guess what? There's no fucking transfiguration that takes place within the individual. Their vessel is predispositioned against light and darkness. With human ego at the forefront, you have to hone it properly, as it affects your sense of uh, self-reflection, your sense of accountability. When these are maintained, your spirit is blessed with enlightenment, divine patience, and the removal of human self makes it possible. It makes it easier for you to become a proper vassal to channel your sorcery and mediumship. Understand when this occurs, you won't be like a mega church pastor magician out there on Facebook talking themselves up or begging for random scraps of manifestation. You know, and you won't be completely delusional. You know, we've seen so many sorcerers like this. Even our detractors, they're finding out that ego is a very fragile shield. And you see them rotting before your very eyes as they posture. You know, the main thing is even the JCI recognize that pride can become a weakness, you know, they attribute it to demons, you know, pride be comes before the fall, you know, when this is controlling your aspects, you're standing in place, when you master it, you won't feel the need to perform ritual on camera constantly, to put on a show with half-assed fucking sorcery to show that they're doing something, a true sorcerer like myself lets the ignorant think they're doing nothing. I mean, I've seen so many people try to ramble on non-spiritual posts to try and seek social validation or 
people coming in who just now coming in regurgitating our work to others to be seen as a guru or to flex. You know, remember, you'll hear this from me several times. Confidence and power is not seen. It is felt. Most of our detractors and the, and the idiots in general will presume myself ignorant when I have confidence in myself. Sorcerers today can't differentiate between ego, pride, arrogance, and confidence. We've had people try to curse, curse us out of arrogance and downright stupidity. And we're confident in what we know and what we do, so we've got no need to fucking posture. We'll just laugh it off and tell them that it's a bad idea. You know, a mega church pastor magician neglected these things and was stupid enough to uh, try and curse us. His ritual didn't go through. He got ass raped further. You know, the one in question I mentioned in previous videos, you know, dilute delusional enough to think he uh, saved my life. You know, he can't fathom like most their pride that they are at the center of the universe, so much so that their spiritual alchemy is so out of fucking whack that they can't even so much as see another sorcerer praise or praise another sorcerer. Appreciate the works, you know, they'll refer to it as dick riding or some stupid shit like that. You know, I'm speaking outside of people promoting other people who are consumed by greed. You know, they'll be jealous and try and suppress your knowledge and discredit you. Such as what uh, James Bethard attempted to do with myself. Rather than try and dispute my knowledge, he got drunk, embarrassed himself, hurled a bunch of idiotic fucking slurs. But now that my knowledge and the cabal is being shown, the videos all of a sudden disappeared with the BS shoved right back up their asses. And it was purely due to jealousy. You know, you got to definitely be, be beware of this. You know, because it's like when I healed and everything, you know, rather than giving me props for it, um, using my sorcery to heal myself, it was demonization, underestimation due to, you guessed it, envy. You know, envy being jealous of other people's paths. We've seen this immensely in Western sorcerers. They enter into a current where the entity hates them and won't bless them. You know, when you fix all of these things, you won't feel the need to steal and copy other people's work and taint it if this is under control because you'll be blessed with your own ancestral knowledge and more. We, have, we then have greed. You know, every sorcerer who is public today has fallen into this trap. We also have the cardinal sin of sloth. You know, it becomes this terrible amalgamation of hindrances, such as the procrastinative block. The veil, as we've said in the Cabal teachings, is a living construct. If you notice you get hit with an extreme fatigue before ritual, it's drawing itself near you to actually prevent your works. And you should enter into it anyway to fight it off. There are many methods in the Cabal literature, you know, which allows for breaking the veil, such as in the Rites of Thirteen Tongues. We then have, you know, wrath. You know, if it's not a, under control, it can be a completely counteractive energy that can consume your very vitality. Not that I'm downing anger or hatred, which I use pretty often. These shouldn't be seen as negative energy. Energy is simply energy. But wrath really must be controlled. It can rapidly aid your vessel and... In most extremes, it can kill you. You know, we also have lust as well due to the energetic exchange. If you aren't careful, you can take on the persons you're having sex with or spiritually interacting with their very spiritual properties, such as their weaknesses, you know, lethargy, procrastination, letting them drain your anima vitae and completely leave permanent damage to you. You know, we have gluttony, you know, overindulgence. And it's not just eating, it's in drinking, you know, smoking too much, damaging your spiritual faculties and fleshly vessel. So many sorcerers fallen into this drinking and like the ones, you know, it's, it's linked with self-restraint. You know, my, my recommendation for all this is to use the baptism by Hellfire and the Shroud of Lezinadonil within Black Scriptures. There's the Eternity Purge within, you know, the left hand, and Rites of the Thirteen Tongues has quite a few for helping 
tame these. You know, I cannot stress enough how important this is because with my own mastery over this, my enemies can't even so much graze my protections or destabilize me in the slightest bit. It's helped me remain in resonance and keep that energetic flow with my God self and fleshly vessel. This is why at times you'll see us look younger, sound younger, and look healthier whilst our enemies aren't looking too hot. So please observe this. Most Western European sorcerers who strive to become megachurch pastor magicians don't fucking understand this. They don't observe it and are complete failures, and as a result, they basically utilize subpar sorcery worth less than shit. So, I don't want you to see these as negative aspects either. Be a proper infernal, infernal sorcerer and master each of these aspects and cardinal sins rather than let any one of them bring about your end. You know, cardinal sins and indulgence can become a great weaknesses, my brethren, but they can be powerful weapons. You know, remember these keys of resonance because they're going to serve you well, especially when you start to delve into the void and understand its practices. Um, please, people, also exercise divine patience as there's more videos to come. I've seen our AGM do quite a few, you know, to he has a lot to edit. So in, these are in between our duties, so you should see them periodically, you know, see you soon.